So I have this friend who has this badass Audi. Every time I get to ride in it, I ask him if he smoked the wheels yet. Now this guy is kind of a stickler when it comes to his stuff. The mere fact that I would even mention the idea of burning rubber makes him mad. To protect his manliness, while at the same time reassure his car that he would not abuse it, cars have feelings too. And nowadays, they can hear your conversation. He claims that the car is incapable of smoking the wheels. Apparently, it's got some super sophisticated anti-smoke feature, plus four-wheel drive or something. So as we tool around town at like 20 miles an hour, he goes on and on about all these traction control features and quadro this and super injected that. While that is interesting guy talk, I always retort with demanding that he take the thing out on a test track or an abandoned runway and how he should practice peeling out at every light and get a racing license or at the very least do some donuts in the Walmart parking lot. See, I'm 40 years old but still play video games and I know that this car can smoke. A few months ago a new video game came out called Forza 3. The graphics are quite impressive, as you can see. Plus, they claim it's not a game, it's a simulator. Whatever. So like three weeks ago, I finally broke down and bought it, because I love to race. My call sign is Gooseman. My favorite game is PGR3, and I like to play this one kind of race called Cat and Mouse. In Cat and Mouse, you have two teams. On each team is a crappy econo car, the mouses and the rest of the cars are supercars, also known as cats. These are the kind of cars that 12 year olds have posters of in their bedrooms. The object of the game is to smash the crap out of the opposing team's econo car. If you do a good job, the crappy car in your team crosses the line first, and you win. I've spent a good majority of my midlife crisis years virtually kicking the crap out of crappy cars. Have you ever seen Cops, the TV show, you know those high-speed chase scenes where the cop tries to stop the bad guy by spinning him out? I think they call it pit maneuvers or something like that. Well, whenever I watch those chase scenes, I sit there with a Diet Coke and a mouthful of Cheetos and scream at the dumb cops. They do it all wrong. Cat and Mouse taught me well. And that's how I know. I can't wait until I flip out one of these days and decide to drive down the highway at 200 miles an hour just for kicks. I think I'll wait till I'm like 82 years old. Old people get away with a lot. Anyway, for all those old folks out there, the online gaming thing is pretty amazing. I wear this headphone microphone contraption. I guess it's kind of the same setup as what a telemarketer would use. And whenever I'm racing online, I'm racing live against people from all over the world. Literally. I can actually talk to the dude driving the car next to me. And more than likely, he's from Germany. Germans are good race car drivers. So anyway, back to reality. So my non-virtual friend has this Audi, but he refuses to drive fast or smoke the wheels. So this new game that came out actually has his car in there. So he virtually bought one. And tonight, I decided to prove to him that the Audi's wheels can actually smoke. And this is what you're looking at, the proof. I'll admit, I had to drive around the track like 50 times before I could actually get the wheels to loosen up. Plus, I had to soup up the engine and turn off all the traction control features. But eventually I got the hang of it. Proof positive, you can make the wheels of an Audi A6 smoke.